Hi everyone, welcome back to Everyday Excel where I cover tips, tricks and techniques in Microsoft Excel. Today I'm going to share with you a small model I built a while back that is a dynamic investment calculator that illustrates the power of compounded growth and the importance that investing for the long term can have on your financial position and stability. If you find this video helpful, please do like and subscribe and share it with your friends and if you want a copy of the model you can email me at everydayexcel365 at gmail.com I'll put the email down below. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so here's the model that I built. It's developed quite a bit over time. I'm going to walk you through how it all works. It's basically a multi-stage uh, investment calculator that shows in theory what your investment returns would be over time, but you can change how much you're potentially investing or the rate that you think that you may be able to achieve over different time periods up until a retirement age that you also choose and then also how much you could potentially withdraw in retirement and maintain your balance at a specific investment rate in a lower risk fund for example to, to see what you could potentially live, live on in retirement um, and when you may also be able to potentially retire. So I'll, I'll walk you through from the start. Up here you have your current age that you are at the time or whoever you're doing this for um, I'll show you a few different examples of uh, what I use this for and what I've shown people they can use it for to spur different ideas. Initially you start with your current age, so let's say that you're an individual that's 25 years old. Uh, you have an initial investment or amount that you can deposit, let's say it's of $10,000 or whichever currency that you deal in. The next row here is the amount that you can add per week. Now the model is built on the assumption that there are four weeks in a month. So whatever number you put in here, um, it will assume that's how much you save per month. So if you're a monthly saver, just um, put in your monthly saving. If you're a weekly saver, if you put, for example, $100 here, it will assume you save $400 per month, which is $4,800 per year, not $5,200 if you multiply it by obviously 52 weeks. So that's an assumption of the model. But this whole thing is very illustrative, so I just want to give you the impression of how it all works. So if you're a 25-year-old individual with $10,000 and you can save $100 per week, let's say that the investment rate that you can achieve is 8% on average per year, um, which at a younger age you can take on a bit more risks because you have a longer time horizon till retirement. Um, so I see that as, in, in my personal opinion, um, something that is achievable and I'll show you very soon um, some prices and returns of funds that I'm personally invested in um, as examples of funds that you could look at yourself um, but there are a lot out there that you can look into. Also do note that this investment rate here would be the rate that you achieve after tax and fees um, so you have to take that into consideration. In the United Kingdom where I currently am uh, there's a scheme called an ISA an individual savings account and the government let you save £20,000 a year that you can put into that and all investment earnings are tax free uh, which is very beneficial so if you live here do look into that. Other places around the world will probably have schemes that could potentially be similar so look at optimising your, your tax uh, expense on, on these investment earnings as well um, because it'll make a difference in the long run. So if you're a 25 year old individual you have $10,000 you can save $100 a week until you're 30. Maybe at 30 years old you also, by then you have another $10,000 in cash but now you're earning a bit more money and you can save $250 a week or $1,000 a month. I uh, will assume that you can still earn 8% on average per annum uh, investment rate uh, just for simplicity but you can change all of these numbers depending on your own sort of view uh, until you're 40 years old. Um, at 40 years old Maybe you want to take $25,000 out. You can do that if you want to. And then maybe you can save $500 a week because you're earning even more again you're later in your career. And let's say that you can still earn 8% until this age here, which is retirement, currently set at 50. Well, let's put it at 55. So if you hit this calculate button, it will populate all of these tables here. And it will tell you what it's worth at different stages. Here we have the actual cash amount that you've saved over time. So we started with $10,000 right now, your age is 25. By 30, you would have saved 34,000 in cash. In a savings account at half a percent, that would only be worth 34,000. But because you've been investing it and you've achieved an 8% return, it's actually going to be worth 44,000 or just under. 10 years later, by the time you've saved $250 a week 
on average by 40 you would have saved 164,000 in the bank it would only be worth about 170 and investing now you're starting to see the benefit it's up near 300 by the time you're you're 50 55 sorry you would have saved about $500,000 in cash this would only be worth about 530 in the bank but it would be worth 1.5 million dollars if you'd been investing it so now you're seeing a massive massive dis difference here of, of how powerful investing is over the long run so this sort of runs through how we get to the figures for retirement now these are pretty simple calculations if you want to check the calculations out there's a calculation tab here but it's the time value of money it's quite a known um, concept they're quite easy to calculate but you can check that if you like um, and here we just have a difference so how much are the investment earnings different over a savings account so you're a million dollars better off by the time you're 55 years old by investing instead of putting the exact same amount in a bank account. Obviously, interest rates will change over time. Uh, this might come back up, but currently we're in a very low interest rate environment, so they'll probably remain low for quite some time. Down here you have a chart, and it shows the different scenarios, which I'll cover soon. But the green line here, you can see, is the cash that's been invested. And you can see it's coming up over time, and then we stopped investing, putting cash in once we retired. Yellow and red lines are the scenarios, which I'll come on to shortly. And the blue line here is the money in an investment fund, or multiple funds, essentially. So we'll move on to the retirement stage now. As we were talking about before, we retired at 55. That gave us a value of 1.5 million in our retirement pot. You can choose if you want to do a lump sum withdrawal here. Maybe you want to uh, withdraw $100,000 to pay off your mortgage that might be still outstanding by then. And let's say I want to be able to live on $750 per week. So now when you shift to retirement, um, this is what you're living on. You're not working anymore, so you still need some income. So you're probably going to shift your investments into lower risk, probably bonds, um, for people that know what those are, but you, you're shifted into a lower risk um, investment fund. Let's assume that you can still make 4% on average um, over that time period. At 65, we're still going to be withdrawing $750. That means by 90, the, the fund is actually still growing, so you could actually withdraw more. Maybe you want to live on $1,000 a week, and this will tell you what the value is going to be at the end. So there's a couple other buttons here. That you can use so this one here says calculate retirement withdrawal max so what it does is based on the amount that you have at 55 if you push this button here it will calculate it will calculate the exact amount that you can withdraw per week or times four for per, per month to make the balance zero by the time you get to this age here so you could withdraw one thousand six hundred dollars as long as you're still achieving four percent per year on average um, over that time period to have zero by the time you're 90 and you can see how that all works here now what happens if you want to leave a million dollars behind to your family your friends uh, your your grandchildren i want to leave behind let's say a million dollars this button here will do the exact same as this one it'll work out how much you can withdraw per week to until this age here but it will make sure that it leaves a million dollars still at the end so now you can only withdraw about 1200 per week um, to get all the way to 90 and still have a million dollar balance there. So that's how those pieces there work. Over here you've got the composition of your fund at each stage that you choose. Now you can change all these numbers which is fine. Um, but as you can see early on, only 5 years in, 77% of this is cash that you've put in which is quite a large amount. But over time the investment earnings start compounding on each other. And by the time you're 55, as you can see here, the cash percentage is only about 32% that you've put in. And the value of it, over a million dollars, was solely from investment earnings. So you can see over time how that composition changes. Now, something a few people said to me is, what about putting in some scenarios? So I've got some scenarios up here, and you can adjust two different factors. So as we discussed, we you have an amount that you can save per week or per month and you have an investment rate that you can achieve and over here these pieces here so this is scenario a this is scenario b this one here you can adjust it so it would be minus two percent taken off the investment rate between each period so in this example scenario a would be assuming the same amount but at six percent per annum until retirement and scenario B at minus 3%, this would be 555, five, five, or 
whatever you put in, it would be minus three and minus two. And then this here would multiply your savings. So if I think what's a scenario where my investment earnings get 2% less than what I expect, and I can only save 75% of what I predicted. So that would assume this is only $75 instead of $100 in this example. What would that do? It assumes all of that through to the same retirement age. And then you have the outcomes here for scenario A and scenario B. And then the exact same as we were discussing before, it would work out how much you could take out based on those. So as you can see, it can be quite sensitive to these inputs, but it gives you a sort of idea of the different outcomes that could potentially happen. So that's how you use all of the buttons as well. So you can hit reset and it will reset all of this retirement piece for you and hit calculate and then it will come back to where it was. Now you can obviously start playing around with these things. So maybe at 40 you actually wanted to withdraw $50,000 or something like that for whatever it is or maybe you would draw zero all of this will be live calculated yeah that's basically how to run through this model and how you can use it so i'll show you a few other sort of examples let's say that you have a child and they're only three years old currently obviously they don't have any money i would say um but let's say as a parent you're going to put 25 dollars away for them um a week until they are let's say we want to see what it's worth when they're 10 years old and what it's worth when they're 18 years old because maybe you want to help them go to university. So if we can if we can save $25 a week all the way to there, what would that be worth? So we're looking at this piece here, when they're 18 years old, it would be worth 34, just under $34,000, and you only actually put 18,000 away, whereas in the bank it would, would be worth not much more than the cash that you put in there. So you can use this for different purposes. Obviously we wanna Ignore all of this for now. I'll put that to zero. Um, so it, it just gives you a good idea of that as well. Maybe you're saving for a house. Maybe you're 20 years old and you want a shorter time horizon that you want to look at. And you want to know what it's worth when you're 23. And you want to know what it's worth when you're 26. And let's say at 20 that you had $15,000 and this person wants to save quite hard. So they say $250 a week and they're going to save that all the way till they're 26. How much would they have? By the time they're 26, they could have $115,000, and that's a pretty good house deposit. There's a whole variety of things you can use this for. Maybe you're also later in life, and you want to know what it's worth when you all the way to a 65-year-old retirement age, but maybe you have $100,000 at 40 years old, and maybe you're saving $500 a week. So that could be worth up to 2.5 million based on these assumptions. Obviously saving $500 a week might be quite considerable, but maybe you're in that position. As I said, this is very dynamic. It's all based on your own individual circumstances. Um, and you can just play with this model and, and see what it does for you. So that's how the model works. Um, if you want a copy of it, as I said, you can email me. I'm more than happy to send this across and I can explain things further if you have any questions. Um, I myself, and personally invested with a, a few different um, companies and in, uh, with a few different fund managers, sorry, and quite a few different funds. But just to show you who, who you could potentially invest with um, in the United Kingdom, Fidelity is a really good um, provider. They have um, hundreds, if not thousands, of different funds on there. Uh, they have a top 50. Um, so if you come into funds here, they have their experts select 50. So it's the top 50 funds based on their professional's research. So you can come on there and look at that. In New Zealand, uh, I have funds with a asset manager called Key Street uh, through Craig's Investment Partners. Um, for example, here they have their price and performance of uh, the different funds that they manage here. So they have fixed interest and income funds, balance funds. Um, I'm, I'm in the NZ Equity Fund here. So you can see they're, they're annualized. These are the annualized figures um, over time. Based on these, you can make some assessment of potentially what the future is, but whatever happened in the past doesn't necessarily guarantee what's going to happen in the future. But they can give you an indication of the obviously the historic performance. Another one in New Zealand is called Milford Asset Management. Uh, th there's a lot there, so ha have a bit of a Google, have a read, look into the funds. Uh, you can go into, um, for example, let's check out the New Zealand Equity Funds, quite a good one. You can click into this, uh, you can go, you can get the monthly fund fact sheet just here. That will open up this here, if we zoom in a bit. It tells you a bit about the fund, 
it tells you its returns over time versus a benchmark that they have to benchmark against. It tells you the top securities that they're invested in. So just some familiar names here for uh, Kiwis that are watching. Um, A2 Milk's been doing quite well over the last few years. Um, so it's Fisher and Paykel, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it shows you this graph here of uh, the growth over time. So in from November 10, so over the last 10 years, every dollar that you put in would now be worth over four dollars so it's gone up and um, four times as much over 300 uh, percent just to give you a bit of an indication so i hope that was interesting i, I hope that you learned a thing or two um, and that potentially this has motivated you a bit to invest in your own future and whether it's a little amount of money and um, just to start off with and, and get familiar with how it works build up some confidence and start saving some more money in there i definitely recommend it to help with your financial stability in the future if you're looking for any other videos, check out my other playlists, um, Excel tips and tricks and how to build dashboards, etc. Uh, this video is a little bit different, but I wanted to share it with you so you guys can have a look at this yourself and potentially look at it investing. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, to my channel and share this with some friends that you think uh, may benefit.